What's up, everybody? Alicia Davis here with MTV News, and it is time again for You Hear It First. Now, you'll be hard-pressed to find any artist, let alone a folk musician composer, who includes space aliens and UFOs, ghosts and zombies, a famous serial killer, and Abraham Lincoln, all on a single record. Yes, well, we found one, and he may just be the it boy of indie music. Here is a You Hear It First look at Sufjan Stevens. Name on the marquee is as uncommon as the artist who bears it. Sufyan, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a Persian name. I've been told it means comes with a sword, but that seems a little too dynamic, too epic for me. But though he may hate to admit it, 30-year-old singer-songwriter Sufyan Stevens is every bit as dynamic as his name suggests. <laughs> Sufyan, the son of hippies, has become an unlikely folk hero with a sound that draws comparisons to Elliot Smith and Bright Eyes. I count the days the great frontier For giving face the seven I stand in awe of great frontier. This quirky mash of folk, pop, and classical makes for simple songs with often religious overtones. But don't call it Christian music. The deeply spiritual Stevens says his sound defies any label. I, I think it's sort of like uh, high art meets low art. It's folk music, but with the sort of sophistication of like the symphony orchestra kind of clashing together. Oh, great intentions. I've got the best of interventions. But... So you're not quite sure. It's like, is this good music? Is this good writing? Or is this just silly, you know? And I, I kind of like that tension. I always like to think of my performances sounding like a sixth grade band. After Sufjan earned critics praise for his 2003 effort, Michigan, a tribute to his home state on which he played over 20 instruments, an inspired Stevens wanted to go even further. And when I started writing the album, Michigan, I realized that the songs were taken from stories that I'd written, and it just became this obsession with kind of the American landscape. And I guess on a whim, like I said, well, wouldn't it be exciting to do a record for every state? You know, why, why should I stop at Michigan? He calls it the 50 States Project, a most ambitious undertaking. But he's already embarked on his own musical road trip, releasing his second album, Illinois, earlier this year. Took my bags, Illinois. That's two down, only 48 to go. But really, who's counting? In some ways, this, this 50 States Project is kind of like a way of investing time and energy and scrutiny into the country and what does it mean to be American and understanding the American identity. And I think, I think that's really what it ultimately means. Album for each state. Good luck, Sufjan. Now, currently, Sufjan is winding up his summer tour, and in September, he'll have even more dates. And that is the news for now, but for more on our You Here at First artists, you can check out MTVNews.com and stay tuned for more news at 10 to the hour here on MTV.